Hey everyone, so today is going to be another day in life here on my channel. Um, I'm Ainsley Teigen, this is my channel, and today we're going to be doing another day in life video. Um, I know I haven't done one in a while, and I know I haven't posted in over a week. Um, I know that's not my normal, but I'm getting back to my normal. It's been really busy around the house. We're kind of renovating, we're not like renovating the whole house, but we have to replace the floor, we had to get our ceiling fixed, there's a, there's a lot of stuff going on. So it's been slower, unfortunately I have not been able to get very much art done, which is upsetting to me, but um, I know it's getting better pretty soon. So, but I am going to do a print release pretty soon. I'm very, very happy about that. I haven't done a print release in months and I only did like six prints last time. This time I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch more and I'm gonna be getting ready for an uh, art walk that's happening in a couple weeks. Um, but you guys just need to stay tuned. Uh, just stay tuned to uh, hear more about that later and uh, go follow me on Instagram for more updates and uh, let's get into the video. Hey everybody, good morning, good evening, wherever, whenever you are. How is everyone? Like, really, tell me, how have you been? I know it's been absolutely crazy. It's been a year since the pandemic has started. You know, some stuff is going back to a little bit of what it used to be. Some people are getting their jobs back, some people still don't. Some people are getting the vaccines, some people aren't. Um, you know, for all, for everyone in Texas and chunks of the South, the freeze was just a couple weeks ago. Um, I know it's been just wild lately, and I just want to know how everyone's doing, how everyone's getting through this. Today is a very special day, and we're actually getting our COVID shots today, and they're on the island, so I took friendly fishing this morning while I read. I really like this book. It's really good. The person who wrote it had um, worked in the White House under four separate presidents, and it's a, it's a really interesting book. I'm glad we got out today. It looks kind of gross right here. But it's actually not that bad. It was cloudy, and it was a little bit more chilly than... And, you know, chilly in Galveston means, like, 67 degrees. So, doesn't actually mean it's cold or anything. But, um, Brinley got two fish for just a little while. Um, after we dropped off Mom at work, and before we went to go get our COVID shot. Brinley was really excited about showing you this junkyard. Oh, and plug in there. Thank you, Brinley, for being my backup camera lady when I'm, you know, driving or being busy doing other stuff. I really appreciate it. We're almost to the vaccine site and we are both so, so excited. So we just got our vaccine. How do you feel? Fine. I feel good. My arm hurts a little. I'm sure it's gonna but be not sore. That, but not that much. Might be sore, but now I'm strong. I'm immune. <clears throat> gotta get my second shot, but yeah. So happy. Is it in my pocket? It's not in mine. I don't think. It's not in this one. I don't have it. Hold it. We've lost the clock and pass. You have like 12 pockets. That's the, that's the problem. That's the problem. There's my ring. Oh, sister. <laughs> I just left Brinley because she lost the, the parking ticket thingy. The, it's because we have to have validated parking and uh, she lost it. So <laughs> she went to go try to get a new one. And now I've had to leave her so I can try to go back through the line to get another ticket to get it val validated. So I have done something terribly wrong. Oh, I can't get out. 
duh. Okay. So I have to go back and tell her that she lost it. Okay. Okay. Duh. Duh. Why didn't I think of that? <sighs> because sister couldn't keep up with the ticket. Please don't let her go. Thank you. Okay, now I have to go back and get her. And well, I guess we do have to go inside and ask for a new ticket. Let's go find her. I got it. Okay. After we got our vaccine, we decided to drive down the seawall. The weather wasn't looking too great, so we decided not to get out and swim today. swim or do too much today because the weather was bad and it's spring break so it was too crowded so we decided to leave the island and go to a park on the mainland this park is really massive and is mostly really natural it's uh, it's really nice there are some seating areas there's bathrooms there's actual like playgrounds there's there's trails for walking for bikes for horses it's a really nice area that I didn't find when we first moved here, so I'm really glad that we did. When we got there, we decided to go on a little hike. That's a juniper. Mm -hmm. Well, it looks very majestical in here. Let's go poke that. Oh. Down that or? No, this. Oh, poke it? Okay, you poke it. Ooh, is it a fungus? No, it looks like a tree. Is it just under the bark? It's this Weird. Tree. Yeah, it's dead. Oh. Wow, someone needs to come snatch this. It's gorgeous. Yeah. There they are. Termites. Yep. Don't get any on you. We hiked to that loop, so then we drove around to kind of explore the rest of the park and find another spot where we could um, hike or do something else. We ended up finding this spot where there was a little pond and they said you could fish. So I brought my art and Brunley wanted to fish. She said she had to go check out the pond to see it, if it was really good. It turns out the pond was actually a lot bigger than I had initially thought it was. So Brinley decided she was gonna try to fish and I was gonna sit at the bench and do some art. I finally finished up this guy while we were sitting there and then I started on a few other projects. I just doodled on this page for a while and uh, before then I created this um, kind of landscape scene with some oil pastels, um, which I don't normally do, but it was kind of inspired by maybe like a tropical destination, like a cove, and uh, i show you guys later that. I then decided to draw this kind of angry little old man type of dude. I just sketched him out so I could draw him later. We stayed at the park for a few hours, so now it's after five, so we're gonna go pick up mom and drive home. It's always quite a nice drive home. It's peaceful, we normally get to talk about our days, you know, listen to some really good music. It's about like a 30 minute drive, so it's not that bad. When we got home, we saw on the news that someone had literally pulled like a movie stunt and like tried to rob one of them art museums in Houston and literally escaped like on a boat in one of the bayous and got completely away from the cops. I just had to show you guys that. All I did the rest of the night was eat dinner, um, do some laundry, some light chores, and then I journaled for a little bit before I went to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's day in the life video and I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Uh, I had a great day. I'm glad I got to share it with you guys. I'm so grateful for every single one of you who 
comments and likes and subscribes. I know like everyone says that like, oh, I couldn't do it without you guys. Or, you know, I'm so grateful for subscribers and it sounds really not real, but really every single subscriber, every single like and comment truly means the world to me. Every time I see a notification pop up, uh, it makes me so happy. And it, it makes me, um, it makes this a little bit more worthwhile. And it makes me, um, it lets me, it allows me to feel more free to be creative with my videos and to keep going and kind of persevere through this time of growth. So I really want to uh, thank you guys and know that I truly appreciate you all. That being said, don't forget to like this video, go subscribe to my, to my channel so you never miss another one, and comment down below what you like and what you want to see next time. See you next time. Thank you.